Dark Blizzard is not going to bring anything I have not seen, experienced, or handled before in the Octagon. You know, he's not the first wrestler I fought. I fought bigger wrestlers. I fought stronger wrestlers. Brock Lesnar is legit. I'm confident I can take any heavyweight down. Nobody really knows what my weaknesses are. Being cocky doesn't guarantee victory, but many fighters tend to be cocky before the fight begins. Imagine a cocky fighter arguing with Dana White, the president of the UFC, stating he is tired of being matched up against weak, low-quality opponents. But what happens when he faces Brock Lesnar? This is a story of a crucial match between Brock Lesnar and Heath Herring from the UFC. At that time, Heath Herring was considered a seasoned fighter with a 28-14 record in mixed martial arts, while Lesnar was relatively new to the MMA scene. Despite this, Heath decided to be a cocky, arrogant fighter. Before the beginning of the fight, it seemed like Brock Lesnar was about to get brutally destroyed, but the actual fight showed us the opposite. So how did this historic fight unfold? Keep watching as we revisit the decisive bout between Brock Lesnar and Heath Herring, which determined their paths in their UFC careers. Let's jump right into it. Much hype was built around this fight as the two fighters entered the ring. Fans were about to witness a historic match. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the co-main event of the evening. Three rounds of fighting in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler who holds a professional record of one win with one loss. Standing six feet three inches tall, he weighed in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Minneapolis, Minnesota, Brock Lesnar! In the initial round, Lesnar immediately establishes control by flooring Herring with a powerful straight right. Despite Herring defending himself, Lesnar's imposing stature poses a challenge as he presses Herring against the fencing. Bleeding from above his left eye, Herring faces a challenge but successfully escapes Lesnar's headlock. However, Lesnar immediately executes a single leg takedown which shows his wrestling skills. Herring, who was arrogant and overconfident, before the beginning of the match finds himself in a difficult position. He surrenders his back to Lesnar who capitalizes with a punishing right hand. Frank he passes guard very quickly through the legs to the side. It's the left side of the face of Heath Herring that's all bloodied up. Might have been from that big right hand. Or it might have been from Dagmar Gliotta's poke. <laughs> it's a bad omen. See if he throws some knees here. Brock staying on top of him, throwing some big punches. And that's a lot of muscle on top of Heath Herring. Maintaining dominance, Lesnar secures Herring from the back with a leg in and wrist control. Herring attempts to roll, but Lesnar effectively stifles him, reasserting the same commanding position. Lesnar strategically targets Herring's body with punches with a calculated approach. Lesnar continues to dictate the pace as he delivers a knee to Herring's body. The more experienced opponent, Herring, struggles to dislodge Lesnar from his back. As the round concludes, Lesnar reinforces his dominance, landing additional body knees. He just can't get out of this. And Brock is expending minimal effort here. He's not exhausting himself, he's just staying on top. And while doing so, he's just leaning all over Heath Herring. And he's hitting him with those big can of hams he calls fists. And a couple of big knees to the midsection. And I may have said earlier, triple XL, they're actually 4X. They're that's, close to Brock Lesnar. That's insane. Good first round for the Golden Gopher. Oh, my! The first round was a showdown of Lesnar's control, strategic skills, and physical dominance over Herring. His calculated approach and effective grappling presented a challenge for his opponent. 
the first round had already set the stage for an intense and compelling matchup. Heath had been brutally destroyed in the first round, but his arrogance hadn't vanished yet. Now let's dive into the second round, and in the second round, Lesnar persists with his unrelenting assault, targeting Herring's front leg with kicks. Lesnar demonstrates his striking versatility and strength. His strategic approach quickly pays off as he forces Herring to the canvas to maintain control and dictate the pace. Similar to the first round, Lesnar transitions to the same dominant back position showing his grappling proficiency. Despite Herring flipping over and landing in the bottom position in side control, Lesnar remains in total control, effectively asserting his dominance. Employing powerful strikes, Lesnar delivers two head punches with his right hand. Briefly taking the mount, Lesnar further solidifies his dominance. In a defensive move, Herring gives up his back, and Lesnar seizes the opportunity by securing wrist control with one leg from behind. And also you have to take into consideration how much damage Heath took in that first round and how much he's got left here. Big so takedown. strong. And this is a 6'4", 250-pound man in Heath Herring. Unfazed, Lesnar delivers precise knee strikes to Herring's body, targeting vulnerable areas. Despite Herring's attempt at a comeback, he manages to get back on his feet, but Lesnar persistently follows. Against the fencing, Herring lands a right to Lesnar's body. However, Lesnar shook Herring's frame and regained control by countering with a knee to the body. The back and forth action continues as Herring retaliates with knees to Lesnar's midsection. Despite Herring's efforts, Lesnar once again takes him down before the round ends. So this fight is scheduled for three five-minute rounds. And let me tell you something, Heath Herring, you give him any opportunity, he's gonna take it. And he will get fired up. If he can get free, and he can turn this into a stand-up exchange. The second round showed Lesnar's well-rounded skill set and effective striking as Herring struggled to find an answer to Lesnar's calculated attacks. The third and final round kicks off with Lesnar delivering a body kick to Herring, exploiting his opponent's vulnerabilities. Lesnar is determined to maintain control, so he presses Herring against the fence and methodically targets the midsection with powerful knees. The relentless assault leaves Herring struggling to counter Lesnar's calculated attacks. Demonstrating both strength and technique, Lesnar effortlessly executes a takedown. As the fight reaches the 11-minute mark, it becomes clear that this contest is far from competitive. Lesnar mounts Herring as he displays patience and precision in his striking. Herring now, with his left eye swollen shut from sustained punishment, finds himself in a difficult position. Would Lesnar someday be the next one? And I guarantee you his base is second to none. This guy gets on top of you like that, that's gotta be a horrifying feeling. And big knees to the body are coming, here they go. Man. In an exhibition of complete domination, Lesnar continues to unleash a barrage of strikes from the mounted position. Despite visibly impaired vision and the toll on his body, Herring manages to stand. However, Lesnar, with unwavering determination, effortlessly brings him back to the canvas with a textbook single leg takedown. Herring attempts to roll for a knee bar, but Lesnar's impeccable defense shuts down any hope of a comeback. Lesnar, with both hands striking the head, regains the mount in the closing moments of the round. The final 10 seconds serve as a conclusive demonstration of Lesnar's complete control in this contest. Lesnar's calculated approach, paired with aggression, leaves no doubt about the outcome. The Lesnar versus Herring fight had significant pre-fight hype, but it fell short of expectations due to its one-sided nature. Despite this, the bout confirmed Lesnar's credibility as a heavyweight contender, establishing him as a force in MMA. However, the match's ending was a bit disappointing, with Brock laughing at Herring and playfully pretending to lasso and reel him in. Notably, Herring had expressed frustration before the fight, arguing with Dana White about being consistently matched against what he considered weak, low-quality opponents like Lesnar. Looking back at the UFC 87 fight between Brock Lesnar and Heath Herring in 2008, it's evident that the matchup was a pivotal moment for both fighters. At that time, Heath Herring was a seasoned heavyweight with a 28-14 record and was considered a powerful opponent. 
Coming off a victory over Cheikh Congo and a near finish against Noguera in their previous match, Herring had shown his skills against top MMA heavyweights. What stands out is the unexpected nature of Herring's loss to Lesnar. Despite being a veteran with significant experience, Herring struggled to land clean strikes on Lesnar throughout the three five-minute rounds. This outcome raised questions about how a fighter of Herring's caliber could lose in such a disappointing fashion to someone like Lesnar, who was relatively green in the MMA scene at the time. Lesnar's victory over Herring was surprising, considering Herring's track record and Lesnar's limited MMA experience. It was about where Lesnar's unique skill set and approach seemed to have posed challenges for Herring, which ultimately resulted in what many considered to be one of Herring's worst losses in his career. In retrospect, this fight marked a crucial moment in Brock Lesnar's journey in MMA. It showed his potential and hinted at the possibility that he could become a force in the heavyweight division. While Heath Herring was a seasoned fighter, before entering the ring, he was arrogant, overconfident, and somewhat cocky. He got what he deserved. He needed to be humbled, and Lesnar humbled him in the best way. So fighter must be humble or he will get humbled. Do you agree? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you love to watch cocky fighters getting destroyed? Well, click the video on the screen and check out the destruction of cocky fighters episode one.